Moses said to the Lord, Why have you afflicted your servant? Why have I not found favour in your sight, that you lay the burden of this entire people upon me? The book of Numbers chapter 11, verse 11. Our Heavenly Father sends us frequent troubles to try our faith. If our faith is worth anything, it will stand the test. Guilt is afraid of the fire, but gold is not. The paste gem dreads to be touched by the diamond. But the true jewel fears no test. It is a poor faith which can only trust God when friends are true, the body full of health, and the business profitable. But that is true faith which, however, holds by the Lord's faithfulness when friends go, when the body is sick, when spirits are depressed, and the light of our Father's countenance is hidden. A faith which can say in the directest of trouble, Though he slay me, yet I will trust in him, is heaven-born faith. The Lord afflicts his servant to glorify himself, for he is greatly glorified in the graces of his people, which are his own handiwork. When tribulation works patience and patience experience and experience hope, the Lord is honoured by these growing virtues. We could never know the music of the harp if the strings were left untouched, any more than we could enjoy the juice of the grape if it were not trodden in the winepress, nor discover the sweet perfume of cinnamon if it were not pressed and beaten nor feel the warmth of the fire if the coals were not consumed. The wisdom and power of the great workman are discovered by the trials through which his vessels of mercy are permitted to pass. Present afflictions tend also to heighten future joy. There must be shades in the picture to bring out the beauty of the lights, could we be so supremely blessed in heaven if we had not known the curse of sin and the sorrows of the earth? Will not heaven's peace be sweeter after conflict and rest more welcome after toil? Will not the recollection of past suffering enhance the bliss of the glorified? There are many other comfortable answers to the question with which we opened our brief meditation. So let us muse upon it all day. Amen.